Hi, I'm Dean DeSandro. I'm the winemaker and the owner of Rockin' Our Winery here in the east side of Paso Robles, California. We're along the beautiful central coast. And uh, welcome to our, our little boutique winery. We do about a 1,000 case production here. And we're hoping to grow to about 5,000 cases over the next several years. I'd like to welcome you all into the world's smallest tasting room. And I can say that with confidence because it's no bigger than uh, our ADA bathroom. Some people say that size doesn't matter, but I don't know, ladies, you, you tell me. <laughs> so when you come to our little wine tasting room, you're going to run into these gorgeous creatures. Gina and Lori, and we have a bunch of fun people who work here. It's all, we essentially insist on everybody having fun, don't we? Correct. And we don't have a problem throwing somebody out. If they're not having fun, we tell them you have to go away in the car. What we do here at Rock and Our Winery that's kind of unique is we focus on blends. I make a lot of proprietary blends. I call them Super Roblin blends, kind of in the style of the Super Tuscan pioneers in Italy who said, to heck with the rules. We're going to make our wines the way we want them to taste, not with the government telling us what we're going to you know, blend into it. So I buy all my grapes in Paso Robles, and I uh, make maybe 12 or 15 different wines each year. That gives me a palette of uh, tastes to select from as I do the blends. This, this particular blend, we call it Harvest Moon. This is a, a blend of three Italian grapes. This is a good example of my blending style. It's got Malvasia Bianca, which you get on the nose, very floral. It's got Pinot Grigio, which is the structural backbone of this wine. And then it ends in your mouth with Muscat Canelli, a nice little hang time in your mouth. Very popular blend. We're almost sold out of it. There the last four cases. Actually, we've sold out of 14 wines now in a little over two years that we've been in business. We're pretty proud of that. Um, the another thing about the blendings that we do, if you'll, you'll take a look at the bottles, we actually think art should be both inside the bottle and on the outside. So from our graphics to the poetry that we write to the fun little names, all rock and roll related, this one's called Crash after Dave Matthews, whereas this one's called Pink Freud. It's a psychologically twisted rosé. Everybody thinks it's going to be sweet, but it's not. It's actually very dry, very nice on your tongue. And I'm going to take things about our proprietary blend model is that when people come in to the tasting room to taste the wine, they have to leave all of their biases behind. Nobody knows what goes into these blends except me. Gina, Lori, they don't know what goes into the blends. So when our customers are sitting here, they literally are doing a double blind tasting. The ladies don't know what's in the blend, the customers don't know, and so they're going to taste the wine for exactly what it is. You want to give me a little bit of that Pink Freud? If they don't like it, then they can put it in the dump bucket. If they do like it, they can buy the wine. It's, it's that simple. Thank you. The fun thing that we have going on is we make a, about 10 or 12 different wines every year. So there's always something new and fun coming out at our winery. Mm. This rosé is a good example of a surprising blend. This blends a saignet of the various red grapes that I, I otherwise use at the winery. The other fun thing about our uh, winery is if you join our fan club, you're instantly anointed as a rocker. And you get your own backstage pass that you can bring to all of our fun events, our rocker rendezvous and the other fun events that we do here. Not only do you get discounts on the wine and, and special wines that are only released to rockers, but you can come and have fun with us and party. We have a whole lighting trellis, fog machine, we do Guitar Hero karaoke contests, we do rocker uh, dress-up contests, we've had Elvis Presley here, we've had Kiss here. I mean, not the real bands, of course, but our fan club members uh, starring as those guys at our rocker rendezvous. So. Our customers have a lot of fun coming here, but that's really part of the fun for us, too. Uh, for me, that's the, my favorite part of having a small winery. It's a very intimate experience. I mean, what, do, what do you think? It's a very intimate experience. Everyone comes in in a good mood. They leave in a better mood. We yeah, because we throw them out if they don't. Right? Exactly. exactly. Yeah, you're, you're forced to have a good time, right, Gina? So true. Are you having a good time right now? I am. I So one of the really fun things about our location, we're on this historic Union Road wine trail. Uh, it's really, Paso Robles has come into its own over the last decade or two. In the last 10 years especially, we've gotten worldwide recognition. We have uh, lots of wines that have scored 95 points or higher. We actually got, uh, one of the wineries in the local area got a perfect score, the Wine Spectator and Robert Parker. 
Uh, so Paso Robles has now gained worldwide recognition as a high quality wine producing region. Over here on the east side we have this Union Road wine trail with 15 boutique wineries along it. So in just seven miles of road you can see 15 different wineries, taste all those different styles of winemaking. And the nice thing is you'll probably meet the owner and or winemaker at every one of those 15 little wineries. So I'm excited to be part of that Union Road Wine Trail and uh, hopefully you're going to get to be in a lot of the other wineries along the Union Road Wine Trail. That's one of the things we're doing with these videos is trying to give everybody a little taste of what they're going to be able to experience when they stop in at each of these wineries. One of the other really nice things about the Paso Robles area is very eclectic. Uh, we have characters from all over the world who've come here and, and set up their wineries and they all bring their own personality to it. I happen to be a real big fan of the arts in general and music in particular. I actually have a recording studio and produced uh, various music and what I love to do with every club shipment is include a, a video or music CD or DVD featuring some of these bands that people may have never heard of but they're phenomenal world-class bands like the Travis Larson band for instance we did a live gig out here and in the last club shipment we put a Travis Larson greatest hits kind of CD that we produced into the uh, wine shipment. We do that with every wine shipment. Previous shipments have had the JD Project, another phenomenal local band here. Uh, Alternation, which is my band. Uh, the Cycle is a collection of all the college bands uh, in this area, uh, about 12 of them as a matter of fact. So we spotlight all of these up and coming artists here. And if you look around our tasting room, we have little bits of art. It's a tiny little tasting room, so we can't have that much art. But we actually do have art in here that we sell for the artists, or one artist in particular, a painter, he doesn't want to be paid for his art. He wants you to buy him a case of wine. You take his uh, original painting home, I call him up and I tell him, Jim, come over and get your case of wine that somebody just bought in exchange for the, the art that you hang. So whenever people join our, our, our fan clubs, we call them become a rocker in our club, they get to pose to get their permanent picture taken that's going to go on their permanent backstage pass. And they pose either with a microphone or a guitar and one of my wine club members saw the old guitar I was using and he said, no, that's not going to do, Dean. So he created, this is another piece of art we have in here. Uh, he created this guitar, hand-built this guitar. He works for G&L Guitars. He makes guitars professionally. And he designed this thing with a maple neck and an ash back like any high-quality custom guitar would be made. But then he veneered it with an actual Zinfandel barrel head. So this is a real wine barrel head. And of course, it's got our Rocker logo. And he called it the Rocker, all laser etched into there. Uh, just another set of creativity from our wine club members and now everybody gets to pose as a rocker with this rocker guitar. <laughs> we have some fun little trinkets here too. This is a, it's called a pick card. It's got actually four guitar picks as part of the card. And what's fascinating about this, these are medium guitar picks. You pop them out of the card. It's like a credit card size thing in your wallet. You pop it out, you play a guitar for a while, put it back down on a flat surface, and it snaps right back in there, goes right back in your wallet. You never have less than four picks. If you're a musician, that's really amazing because instead of looking around for a quarter or using your fingernails, you always have a guitar pick on you. And they're all different colors, the different fun icons on them, so you can invent your own drinking games. So thanks for spending a little bit of time with us here at Rockin' Our Winery. Hope you come out and see us the next time you're on the Union Road Wine Trail on the east side of Paso Robles. The Rockin' Our Winery is located on the very east end of the Union Road Wine Trail. So when you turn off the 46 to the Tobin James Cellars, you'll find it just a ways down the road on your right-hand side.